Hello, welcome to Andrew Lavery Show, where we talk about investing in the stock market and where we talk about using the stock market so we can all become self-made millionaires. Now, in this video, we're going to take a look at Apple and we're going to see what if we what if we bought 100 shares of Apple back in early January 1990, how much would that investment be worth today and how much would you have collected in dividends too? You didn't reinvest dividends, you didn't buy more shares, you just bought your 100 shares, held them. How much would that investment be worth today and how much would you have collected in dividends? We're going to take a look at that here in this video. Before we move on, I want to encourage everyone to hit that like button, hit subscribe button and notification bell. I post new videos all the time. All right, so early January 1990, you bought your 100 shares. It would have cost you $3,360 or $33.60 per share. There have been four stock splits since then. Uh, you can see the two two for ones, one seven for one, and then the latest one in August 2020, uh, which was a four for one split. So keep those stock splits in mind and also keep that initial um, investment of $3,360 in mind as well as you go through the rest of this video. All right, so you can see here on the right, you can see what how much you would have collected in dividends each year. So 1990, you bought your initial 100 shares, you would have collected $45. But starting in 1996, dividend was cut, and dividend was cut for the next 16 years. 16 years in a row, no dividend at all. Apple did fall on hard times, so I suspect that's the reason why they, they cut their dividend. You can see, as you scroll farther down this list, you can see the shares increase. You go, you got 200 shares in 2020. It goes up to 400 shares in, or not in 2020, excuse me, in 2000, it goes to 200 shares. And then 2005, it goes to 400 shares. Uh, the shares just increasing. That's when the stock splits occurred. So that's the only reason why we're not buying more shares, like I said. So just uh, just the stock splits. That's when they occurred. Uh, here we go, 2008 to 2021. Again, you still got four years of no dividends. But then in 2012, they start paying a dividend again in a big way too. You get your first dividend payment in 16 years, and it's over two thousand dollars. And then 2021, you are now at 11,200 shares thanks to all those stock splits, and you collected $9,688 in dividends that year. All right, so remember, your 100 shares cost you $3,360. The total dividends collected throughout this entire time since early 1990 when you purchased the shares is $65,032. Now keep in mind, you, you've, you've owned the shares now for 32 years. Uh, 1990 to 2022 so literally half that time no dividends being paid out they still paid you $65,032 just you know, despite 16 years in a row of no dividends I think that is amazing but that just looking at dividends alone that's a return on investment of 1,935 percent absolutely great love it current value of the shares this as of today which is June 18th 2022 Current value of the shares is $1,473,472. Started off with $3,360, and now you have a little more than $1.4 million worth of shares. That represents just share price alone, represents a return on investment of 43,853%. You really can't do much better than that, I think, in my opinion. Um, now, keep in mind, too, what's your yield on cost right now? So dividends in 2021, remember, was $9,688. For you, that is a yield on cost of 288%. That is insanely high. That's great. And it's only getting bigger, you know, as Apple increases their dividend every year. Hopefully, they continue to do so. I'm assuming they'll, they'll be able to. Um, you know, that, that yield on cost is going to get bigger and bigger. It won't be long before it's over 300%. Uh, if you're not familiar how to calculate yield on costs, I just took the $9,688 that was paid in dividends of 2021, divided that by the initial investment of $3,360. That's how I, how I landed on that percentage. It's about all I have. So I, I hope this is inspiring to people to get invested in the stock market. You can find great, I don't want to say deals, but you can find great companies like Apple you know, Apple's had such great success over these, these past, you know, three decades. Is there more success? Can they have even more success for such a huge company? Sure, they can have more success. So definitely, if Apple is a company that interests you, take a look and do your analysis of them. I always recommend doing your own research. But there are plenty of other amazing companies out there. You can maybe find some smaller cap, mid cap companies that still have a lot of room to grow. Again, do your analysis and see, see what you think. If they fit into your portfolio, if they fit into your overall investment goals, they, they kind of match your risk tolerance, you know, give them some serious consideration. But 
Uh, there's so much wealth that can be built in the stock market is absolutely insane. But you you have to uh, do your, do some good research, pick good, well-managed companies and be in it for the long haul. Nothing about investing in the stock market is get rich quick it is all in the long haul. Because remember, that one point four million dollars that you now built up it took you 32 years to get there. So keep that in mind. It took you 32 years. That's a long time. So it's definitely get rich in the stock market. At least it can be. But it's not get rich quick so keep that in mind as well but thank you so much for tuning in i really appreciate it remember hit that like button hit subscribe button notification bell i post new videos all the time take care everybody bye bye